Hey guys, this is Seth Neocon here with Black Book Properties and condoblackbook.com. I am here in the beautiful sales center at Ocan Tower in downtown Miami. I'm here with JC Jimenez, in-house sales associate here at Ocan. JC, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. And uh, guiding us through this wonderful project. JC, can you please tell us a couple things that makes Ocan Tower really unique, why people need to know about this project and who you think it'll be a great fit for? I think that Ocan Tower uh, has several ingredients that make this project an amazing project. But to me, the location is one of my favorites mm -hmm. because Ocan Tower has uh, this location that is just right now growing at an unprecedented rate. And it's not really something that people can see, but it will be perceived one all the buildings and all this location is finished within the next few years. Right, so you, yeah, there's, uh, we're in the greater, we're in the downtown area, we're central business district, right? Yeah. So you have the Miami World Center, it's been built with a lot of retail coming, right? Uh, you have Bayside, which is completely being uh, upscaled into a much more luxurious uh, retail space. And then you have, what, six or seven towers going up, uh, condo towers and hotels and so on, right around the area. So, and they're all getting done, you know, within a year, couple years of each other, right? So, you know, it looks like this one day, one day, and then boom, next day you have this bustling downtown modern neighborhood. Yeah. It's very so exciting. It's all about perception. The perception today is going to be completely different from the perception by the time we're finished here. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what makes Ocan Tower unique in terms of the residences, the rentals. You know, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a super tall building, right? Tell us a little bit about that. The building itself has 70 stories, but because these are high ceilings, the reach of the top is nearly 890 feet. Mm -hmm. So that means that if it was built today, it would be, if not the tallest, the second tallest building in Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, this puts our residences on a very good position because all the apartments start on the 36th floor mm -hmm. and the residences start on the 56th floor. We have two components. Mm -hmm. We have the condo hotel, which starts on the 36th through the 50th, and the residences start on the 51st through the 69th. Mm -hmm. And this allows people to decide whether they want a condo hotel that can be rented through the Hilton, which will be managing the property, a five-star level. Yeah, Hilton five-star, right? Right. And the residences, which will have all these services, if you want to live here full time, you can do it at the residences with views that are incredible and panoramic throughout the city. Yeah, so, so what, what, I, what I love about that is that the, the condo hotel component gives folks that want the convenience of coming in, using their unit whenever they want, and when they're gone, knowing that the, the hotel is taking care of them. I think that's, a, and, and renting it out for them, I think that's wonderful. And then the residences are great for people who are looking for the flexibility, but want to have a little bit more uh, the convenience of doing what they want with it when they want with it, right? right. So the, the residences are gonna have 60 day minimum rental policy. So you do have the flexibility of renting it uh, sort of midterm or seasonally, right? And, and you can do that, what, four times a year, right? Four times a year. Yeah, yes. so it it's, it's really hits the spot for that luxury buyer that wants to have access to the Miami lifestyle, but wants still the opportunity, if they choose, to subsidize it with renting it in the seasons or the times of the year when they're not going to be using it themselves. So right. It's a, it's, a, it's a really good concept. Um, so tell us a little bit about when the building's going to be built and uh, the price points roughly, um, you know, just gen generally speaking. So we're expecting that the building is going to be delivered by 2026, which allow us the time frame to wait for the area to come up mm -hmm. because everything like Seth, Seth, Seth set uh, is changing uh, pretty fast and uh, we're going to see that evolution as we go along. So that's an important thing. Um, 2026, we're going to have the delivery, that's the uh, expected time, and we should begin construction this coming year. And then the, pri the price, to price, price point. The average. price points. Uh, we have different uh, type of units. For example, so the studios start on the uh, low 400s, the one bedrooms on the mid 500s, the two bedrooms on the eight to 900s, and the three bedrooms somewhere between 1.5 and 2 million, depending on the size and the location of the building. Excellent, excellent. So um, 
Before we go, I want to make sure that you guys know something really cool about the building also, on top of everything else we talked about. Uh, the developer is actually a gentleman by the last name of Okan, so uh, the tower is named after him. And uh, he's actually of Turkish descent, so uh, in the spa, it's going to be a, a, a spa that you could imagine that a Hilton would go for and that, the, that a luxury residence would go for, but it's going to have uh, Turkish hammams and sort of that whole, uh, you know, famous spa setups that, the, that come from that part of the world. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and on top of that, a little tidbit is that the building is in the shape of a tulip. So if you take a look uh, carefully, you'll notice some of those um, resemblance between the tulip and this beautiful building. And, and you know that a tulip is the national flower of Turkey. Okay, well, so, so I learned something. Yeah. <laughs> One more thing new today. Thank yes. you so much. Well, JC, Thank you so much for your time. It was wonderful to be with you. Appreciate it, anytime. And if you guys have any questions, comments, anything at all you need to know about Okan Tower or uh, all the development that's happening in the area, please reach out and have a wonderful day.